Ha oh, hello my lovers. It's MJ from Alta Love. Happy to be here with you guys. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday's a beautiful day. I mean every day can be beautiful, but also every day can be a little bit of rice with jazz, let's be honest. Life is weird and challenging and also just miraculous and beautiful. So hi, duality, welcome. <laughs> uh anywho. I I have an online brand. I do sell digital products. I sell merchandise. I offer services, including the tarot. I teach a lot of yoga. I'm I'm a longtime yoga teacher. I've been teaching yoga since about 2008. Uh, and then it really picked up in about 2011, 2012. So yeah, it's been a while with the Yoga Vibratory. And I established Alta Love as an online brand back in 2013. So it's been 10 years now that I've been pioneering Alta Love as a brand born of my heart, uh, endeavoring to uh, bring more love to the world, myself, <laughs> trying to improve my state of being by shape-shifting my mindset, all that jazz, you know, it's all out there, you guys. Online is all at once frightening <laughs> and terrifying and also uh, beautiful with regards to the wisdom that we can share with one another and the enlightening information that the majority, a lot of humans have access to. So, uh, you know, let's keep shining for one another and uh, dismissing the lack and the hatred and and or facing it down, you know, devil get thee behind me. So let's go, let's go. My intention with tarot is to be able to connect with you guys most days and to offer divine guidance and love and clarity. Uh, so really it's about resonance. If you resonate with myself, with ultra love and how I show up and you resonate with some of the messages, and I've said this before, I'll remind you again, if it's like a re repeat, that could be a prompt to book yourself a private reading. Otherwise, let's just hang out and have a bit of fun on my internet friends. You guys are amazing. Keep loving yourself. Keep going. I see you. I see you doing so many incredible things. Lots of wonderful changes afoot. And astrologically speaking, we have all planets moving direct, which is pretty rad, really rad. It means that there's going to be an ushering of forward motion uh, on top of the intensity because there's some heavy hitting planets over the coming years that are going to be moving signs. And uh, just as an example, Pluto, which changed signs back in 2008, 2009, that's when the kind of housing market and big financial collapse happened. So Pluto is transiting into Pisces in the coming months and years. Uh, so we can expect some pretty radical uh, systematic changes and like shining down of corrupted power. So, uh, you know, sit back, relax, and let's enjoy the ride to the best of our ability. It's going to be intense, no doubt. So uh, let's go. Here we go. New beginning. What's this? Hmm. What's this? Definitely some new beginning here. Take the new beginning, you guys. Uh, I need to, uh, I'm specifically wondering, there's this empress, some of you might be dealing with a corrupt uh, situation. This is like a female boss or uh, somebody, somebody that tr triggers you to feel like defensive or like back off kind of thing. And overlaying this is just these new beginnings coming in. So if you've been dealing with somebody that you're, uh, yeah, like a boss, this is definitely somehow connected to a female in your life. Um, I mean, for a lot of you guys, it could have been a love situation, somebody that you thought you were really in love with. Uh, it's not going in the direction that you maybe wanted to and you can always flip and do what you will with the genders in these readings but this is to me anyway feeling very specifically like a female it's an empress and the magician is also in the reverse so so it feels like for some of you you've had a sticky situation at work primarily work for most of you some of you 
it feels like you met somebody you probably fell in love the six of cups this this connects to like a soulmate connection somebody that you just you meet and you love and there's a familiarity and it's like kind of effortless you could say but something happened that made you really defensive or like on guard with this person um hence all these new beginnings are coming in I feel like this might be a bit bittersweet, but I do feel like you're being guided to a, sort of abandon a situation or, you know, if you're in a relationship where you're fighting all the time or you're in a work situation where someone's dishing out loads of like passive aggressive bullshit, <laughs> pardon my French, and you're feeling like you have to defend yourself or defend your ideas or whatever, uh, I, I mean, the new beginnings are coming in, so do not fret. At the same time, if there's new beginnings coming in, take the new beginnings. Uh, this situation you're dealing with is, is going to just persist in its, um, like, stress. <laughs> Seven of Wands, to me, is a pretty, like, stressful survival mode energy, like, having to defend ourselves. And certainly, because there's a wand and a pentacle like and and let's be honest even with the six of cups we can we can be feeling like we're in love with a job we can feel like we've a work situation somebody that we're working with um creatively speaking investment wise we can feel totally in in love and like friendships and work situations are like soulmate situations as well i feel like that's probably the most accurate uh and then and then something happens and then you have to defend yourself and it's like you know what fuck this like i don't want that i don't want to do this anymore so take your new beginning yeah because you guys are going to have choices so rather than staying in the survival mode rather than staying in this cycle i feel like it's a cycle for a lot of you this cycle of having to defend yourself this cycle of having to reiterate, but I didn't do that, or I didn't say that, or I didn't do that with that person, whatever. Oh, oh, the reason being is that this, these characters, the magician and the empress, they're in the reverse, which means they're not in their integrity. They, they're not who necessarily they say they are. Uh, they're not going to be able to shine light for you. And they don't have your best interests at heart. That's like the legit fashion. And yet this could be familial as well. This could be people or I feel most strong with the empress somebody that you like fell in love with like you know we do that with friends or with work situations like oh my god this is a dream job I love it so much and then for whatever reason it turns right so you've got choices a decision with the two of swords and I would dare say this decision is like take your new beginnings take this ace of pentacle take this ace of wands to two aces here and something better will manifest a better career a better job a better lover a better 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 everywhere better everywhere because this knight of pentacle this king of pentacle they're in the upright so if you take the new beginnings better pardon me better people will show up for you trust that You're working through uh, more than likely like a vibration shift. So, um, yeah, you're working through a vibrational shift, my lovers, uh, which is all at once. Yeah, ascension. You're you're moving on up the vibration ladder. You're um, you're becoming more wise. You're, and I would dare say that's often how and when these situations start to shift is that we're actually going through a lot of internal changes. And then bish bash bosh, the external reality starts to morph, uh, which is which is where it can feel like when we fall in love with something and then something gets to shift. So I don't feel the same way anymore. And it's because we've gone through we almost un like knowingly we can go through these internal shifts and then suddenly everything outside of us is starting to shift and we're like, what the heck is going on? And it's because we're changing, we're becoming more wise or uh, we're becoming more self aware. And something we used to tolerate, suddenly it's like, actually, I don't want to tolerate that anymore. See ya, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Th this reading is very uh, kind of clear with regards to take 
the new beginnings. There's another ace of wands. So straight up, I feel like there's an ace, there's a wand connected to your career and an offer coming in with regards to career. And there's also potentially for you guys, a lover offer could be an age difference. Uh, and they're at a distance. So this could be somebody you're maybe not accustomed to going for or, um, yeah, somebody younger and or older kind of thing, like just an age gap, but that's maybe not your custom. And then there's an empress. So regardless of an age gap, regardless of anything, you taking on these new beginnings is just so much lighter, so much more promising, so much more enchanted, so much more of what you really, truly, genuinely deserve, okay? This empress is in the upright. She is shiny. She is magnetic and super duper beautiful, super creative. And you literally have... Ugh, it's like being in union with the earth, with your mission. And then it's like finally the right people, the right working situations, they all start landing for you. They all start coming in. Make the decision. Yeah, get out of your head, you guys. I mean, I obviously I work with people every day and that's a theme right now is like n noticing when we're too much in our head noticing when we're thinking too much right I think personally that's often the power of yoga and having a physical practice is like moving our bodies and <laughs> uh, I love things like the sauna and cold dips and all that kind of shazam as well like to get us out of this like monkey mind as they say right meditation obviously is super useful yeah basically you just got to be looking after yourself I'm weirdly hearing that song, Dream Weaver. I believe I can get me through the night. Never know why or how these songs come into my brain, but they do. And it's this temperance energy, which let's be honest, she's she's a gorgeous lit lady. <laughs> she's an angel with a rainbow and this like water mirror, which I feel has a lot to do. Oh, look, sun and water in the in the rainbow and i feel there's something elevated here like this angel is obviously there's the earth underneath her there's the water and the trees and the islands and stuff but there's something quite like magical she's very embodied right like she's in her body and she's working with the elements and she's uh, even though very elevated and stunning um, and colorful, there's actually something very wise and she's working with the alchemy, right? She's working with her alchemy, her magic. So for a lot of you, this could be like a signal to get really connected uh, so that you know the choice to make as and when those choices manifest in your reality. Um, and dominantly speaking, this reading is definitely shining light on the new beginnings. Like if you're in a shit work situation, if you're in a troubling um, romantic dynamic or familial situation, be willing to step away and take these new beginnings that are unfolding for you. It, you're still going to get to the Empress. You're still going to get to this amazing feeling and this amazing life. It's just not maybe going to be through what you once thought if that makes sense to any of you so there you go you're you're raising yourself up you're healing you know uh, and you've got lots of new beginnings so uh feel free to comment uh let me know if that resonates feel free to share these videos i really appreciate your guys's online support it's super duper helpful uh for myself for the brand uh which genuinely i i i really you know hope that we can all show up for one another and uh, make the world a loving place for you and for me and the entire human race. <laughs> it's time to go for MJ. I have to go. <laughs> Stop talking. Have a great day, you guys. Uh, love you loads. Peace out.